growth of e-commerce, I think, is just absolutely jaw-dropping. So e-commerce as it sits today is somewhere between 10 to 15 percent of total retail sales. It's been growing at a, a double-digit clip, approaching nearly 20 percent in all major markets that we compete in. Um, if you were to strip out markets that have very limited e-commerce penetration, some markets approaching 30 percent to nearly 40 percent, it, it's really changing the dynamics that, that, we're, that we're playing with. As e-commerce continues to grow, it's driving transformational change end-to-end -end in the supply chain. Manufacturers, wholesalers, and retailers uh, are increasingly collaborating uh, out of necessity to work together to, uh, to meet the needs of, of, uh, of e-commerce. Now, to the manufacturer, it is a, an opportunity for true innovation because they traditionally have delivered to those brick and mortar operations and now they have the opportunity uh, to introduce a brand new channel. Yes, there is disruption because in their fulfillment systems, uh, they're geared to uh, the way it was and the way it is is very different. Um, and businesses are now really kind of trying to embrace uh, this rising volume, rising velocity and variation of orders coming from these different channels. Now that they've essentially uh, you know, mastered that, they are now trying to optimize providing uh, order fulfillment out, out to customers. How can retailers be more efficient in terms of, of, of shifting out inventory? How can manufacturers be more efficient in terms of leveraging their own brand? as well as being a better partner with their retailer. And how can these three PLs thrive in a market that's essentially been created for them?